Okay, which one should I take? Um, no, 85, no. 20, 80, 70. I haven't used it for quite a while right now. Like, I mean, it's just been like, I don't know, year? Maybe I'll go 28 millimeters and I will go with A7 Mark III. Or maybe I will go with one and do some vintage stuff with this 55. Nah, maybe not. 35 would give me nice bokeh, but uh, not too tight. 16 to 35, all trusted 16 to 35. Mm, not sure about it. Well, well, well. What can I do? I'll probably stay with A6400 and 16 to 55. Yes. You guessed it, lockdown is still here in Portugal, that's why I'm recording on my roof, but I'm starting to like this place and uh, it's kind of my new YouTube studio, <laughs> if it makes sense. Alright, this Friday um, I'm releasing a new video about DJI FPV, so uh, stay tuned. But before that I wanted to share some quick thoughts on being a minimalistic photographer. So if you are up for being minimalistic or essentialist and uh, you want to acquire only the gear you need, this is my story and this is my solution. How to keep your gear, you know, essential. All right, so it all started like way, 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 way back in time. I was like, you know, honestly, since I was born, I was like that. I never used too much toothpaste. I never used too much shampoo. I always had this strong feeling that, you know, we shouldn't waste. Um, that, you know, that we basically, you know, I didn't like excess. I didn't like excess. I didn't like too many things. So when I was growing up, I didn't want really like uh, to have cell phone that quick because everybody had, you know, cell phones around me, but I didn't want to have cell phone. Then I didn't want to be connected to internet all the time. I didn't have to have, you know, unlimited data package or anything like that. So it, it was kind of, kind of like part of my personality. Minimalism, minimalism, sorry, was part of my, my bad English with Russian twist. So it was, um, it was just part of my personality but but uh photography and videography and being youtuber and uh you know doing all this kind of stuff is 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 challenging you because you kind of um go get to the point where you need more and more stuff when you think that oh if i just have this or that you know it will make my life easier i will start recording videos faster and i just need this lens or that lens and and you know it never ends so here's the question how you know to have how to distinct what are you know the tools that you really need and what are the cravings that uh, that are from your insight what is that you what is it that you are trying to fill the void inside of you with stuff with more stuff with acquiring more stuff so how to tell the difference if I really need that tool or it's just you know this void inside of me shouting feel me feel me feel me but you know fill me up but you will never fill it up. You will just make the void larger and larger. Think about your life as a travel. So when you travel, we all love to travel, right? And and why do we love to travel? Because we compact our stuff. We don't have that much stuff with us. We just pack one suitcase or one backpack and we are ready to go. I mean, I know people that would like pack a lot of stuff, but this is it. Think that your life is a travel and that you just need one backpack with all your stuff. And here's a backpack that kind of, uh, you know, made me look at things differently, okay? This is not product placement, it's it's a Tule of Swedish backpack, you know, this thing. See? It's basically a very simple thing. Up here, is uh you know a storage for your personal stuff so this is where i keep my notes and for example my you know uh gloves to exercise you know some headphones and uh when i go and travel with this backpack i hold i have my pants you know like t-shirts and all the stuff just right here in the top part there's a lot of stuff right here 
and uh, this is where I keep my batteries you know charged empty some you know filters and that's pretty much it I don't use too much gear anymore uh, if I want to go crazy I would put a small strobe light here you know just in case if I need it but I rarely do anymore this is where I pack my small little carbon fiber tripod and this place is where all the magic happens so when I got this backpack I thought like I will not put my gear in that thing you know it's just way too much gear I need so is this the place for all the photography gear here and ladies and gentlemen yes it is you see I have a DJI controller here for my drone here goes the drone it's not here because my son like disassembled the gimbal and it went to DJI service and this is where I keep my camera and that's it it's a a7 mark III with a 50 millimeter lens and you may ask and what about different lenses and stuff there's still a room for one prime and one zoom and most of the time this is all I need just one prime and one zoom and when I travel this is what I take and yeah. you know oh you know SD cards here this is a space for laptop or iPad but I don't carry iPad anymore I don't even own iPad anymore I just have laptop and phone that's it if you think about your life as a travel and you are not trying to fill the void with things this is when you become essentialist or minimalist oh we will talk later on this channel because I want to share more of the ideas about you know cutting on stuff reducing the amount of things we really need or we really own whenever you feel the craving to buy something is it like that you dream about this 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 you know glorious moment where a guy comes to your door and and you know like uh, he brings like some new gear and, and he, yeah UPS yes this is a truck or, or DHL or whatever it is and and they bring you the stuff and you you look at the stuff you you smell it you feel like it's something new but then you realize that you use it once a year or you don't even use it once sometimes it just you know lands on your shelf and and wait for the moment you will need it but it's good is there I will need it for sure so whenever you think that you need some piece of gear some lens some camera think what you will use it for and honestly being a photography journalist doing like uh, you know uh, working with uh, different blogs with different you know uh, online services I had kind of not unlimited but almost unlimited access to a lot of gear you know a lot of lenses like Nikon Canon Sony whatever whatever it is Olympus and I you know had my hands on all these cameras and you know they are cool like a7s3 like it's an amazing camera but but hey I'm still good with my a6400 and still good with my a7 mark 3 this is enough for my need over years I was doing a lot of I was doing a lot of things and I acquired a lot of tools so like I was doing a lot of well, interior photography so I needed a good wide-angle lens and a good 50 millimeter lens for details and like I was uh, I'm doing weddings like so so I need good prime lenses like 35 50 85 and like we do videography so I work with my wife so I need a good lenses for filmmaking so 28 f2.8 2.0 blah, 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 too fast and like again 50 millimeters so but a lot of these lenses can be used in different scenarios like 50 <laughs> I will use pretty much every time 85 35 wedding photography 28 50 this is like uh, a perfect lens for the uh, wedding filmography videography so think what you really need and remember one rule that I learned and that was like really changed my thinking is that if you try to solve internal problems like this void inside of you if you try to feel with external things it will never work it will never work you will just make this void to grow bigger and bigger and bigger and in the end you find yourself not liking photography anymore but just loving the gear acquiring it but the point is that what is beautiful is focusing on creating stuff focusing on uh, you know uh, sending the message out and and doing your thing um, you know whatever it is is it drone photography is it uh, you know like YouTube videos are you into you know like short films or are you in landscape photography focus on that not on the gear because most of the gear you need you will most probably already own I hope you guys liked it and I will be doing more videos on minimalism 
pretty soon uh, some lessons I learned and I'll try to keep it short and talk only about the essential things but I honestly wanted to uh, you know expand my channel a little bit you know I just wanted to share something with you that brings value to all the community here on Jack's Boutique channel so if you like it please hit thumbs up if you didn't like it hit the thumbs down twice and don't forget to subscribe to help me to create more content like that okay guys the wind I think could have spoiled uh, the, the audio quality so see you soon right see you on Friday